What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new episode of E-Kriegs Outdoors. Today guys, I'm at my local archery range and what I have for you today is a short, concise video that's going to explain to you how to get into hunting if you're interested. Let's get right into it. Now the first thing I'm going to recommend to you guys if you are interested in getting into hunting is to start consuming. Now what I mean by this is you got to start watching hunting content, reading about it, getting information about it. One thing I'm going to recommend, a great series to watch is Meat Eater. This is on Netflix. You can also find some free episodes on YouTube. Uh, Meat Eater is a really popular show that's actually just came out their 10th season on Netflix. And the thing that's great about Meat Eater as a Netflix show is it really shows the feelings that a hunter goes through. Oh, run! Oh my God. Run! and what they really think when they are hunting. It's gonna kinda help you see that hunter's mindset. It's not just about killing an animal, harvesting an animal, it's about the whole experience, getting that meat, really having a natural experience. So watch Meat Eater, Stephen Renault does a great job with that. They also have a podcast called The Meat Eater Podcast. They have a website, all different articles and blogs you can read on there. They have a bunch of different other series on YouTube. They have tons of content that you consume from Meat Eater. Start listening to that and that's really gonna help you get the idea of what it means to be a hunter Con conservationist and to really be a responsible hunter there's also other things out there like the hunting public is a big one there's a lot of good people that kind of explain the feeling of hunting and what it means the correct way so start consuming guys before i forget to mention it guys i want to recommend another really good podcast to listen to it's called duck season somewhere uh it's mostly about waterfowl hunting but that is a really good one and gives really valuable insight on being a, like a responsible hunter and being you know a good hunter somebody who looks after the land and does a lot of good things for the outdoors and conservation so it's a great one it's by this guy russell ramsey i think is his name he's a big duck hunter so the next thing i'm going to recommend to you guys who want to get into hunting is to start doing what i just did and that is shooting whether this be a bow or a gun or both it really doesn't matter um, I like archery and shooting guns. Uh, it's great. It's a lot of fun. You can get into it for not too expensive. Borrow a gun off someone you know or go out and buy a cheap pellet gun even just to start shooting. A bow setup like this, this is the first one I ever bought. This cost me maybe 400 bucks. Some add-ons and stuff cost a little more, but you can get into it for relatively inexpensive if you borrow stuff at first. Just see if you like it at the beginning. Just shooting my bow, archery, or shooting guns, shooting clay pigeons with a shotgun is something that is extremely fun. And you might find you just like doing that just as a hobby. So just start shooting and see if you at least like that, guys. And it's just a great thing to get to know, to have fun doing it. And when you're shooting, it teaches you a little bit about firearms and safety and archery is like a really like mental like i don't know like calming thing it's just a ton of people just like to do it just as a hobby next up for y'all i'm gonna recommend that you talk to someone that knows what they're doing if it's just your first time getting into hunting if you're not lucky enough like some of us to have parents uh, relatives mentors and stuff already that did it and taught you a lot about it start talking i'm sure you know someone that is into hunting in the outdoors. So just talk to them, uh, tell them that you're interested or whatever. People love to sit down and share their ideas about it. If not, just go on YouTube and look up, you know, what people think about hunting, why people like to hunt, the advantages of it. Really find out why you want to be a hunter or don't, it doesn't matter. It's just some people just find it fun. It's a good way to get good food. Bon appetit. Oh, Mexican food, my favorite. And that's a perfect reason. So just start talking to people about it and really collect information on it and see if you can find someone that's going to help you kind of know what to do to get into it, help you along the journey, give you tips and stuff. My very last tip for you guys is by far the most important. All those other three things are said are optional, but this one is not optional. And this one is going to teach you the most. And that is actually to get out and start hunting, start getting in the outdoors and start learning. You're going to learn from your mistakes when you're hunting. I'm by no means an expert. I'm not even that great myself. I've just been doing it for a couple years, you know, five, six years now, and I was lucky enough to have some parents and people older than me and that I looked up to that really helped me out to get into the sport, and I've learned almost everything I've learned from just going out and doing it, uh, learning from your own mistakes. All that other stuff, it has its place, but getting out and actually learning about it, go, just go hunting. 
once you practice a little bit, go out and just sit in the tree stand. You're going to learn so much, whether you're, if you're deer hunting, just from seeing those deer move and finding what works, what doesn't, maybe you miss a shot, whatever. You're going to learn a ton, and it's going to be a better way to get your food than just going and getting chicken nuggets from McDonald's, and it really connects you with the food chain. That's how we're made to get food. Uh, people don't realize where food comes from now. You don't think about the cow that died, uh, or the steer in that case, uh, to get your hamburger from Wendy's. So that's the best way to do it, guys. Just go out and practice. Maybe if you don't want to go actually like deer hunting right away for big game, go and go frog gigging in the summer. That's a really fun way. Go fishing. I'm sure if you guys have been fishing already, go bow fishing or go waterfowl hunting. That's an awesome way to do it. Go squirrel, rabbit hunting. Squirrels are really tasty. Uh, people don't think about eating squirrels and rabbits, that kind of thing. Go hunt small game first. Work your way up. Just go out have fun, guys. So remember, go watch things like Meat Eater. is That's really the best one that I've found to watch, uh, listen to. They have a great podcast and a great blog on their website. You can learn a ton just by watching them. Make sure to maybe talk to people that hunt already. Go shooting and get out and actually hunt. So thank you guys for watching. I told you this was going to be a short, concise video. I hope you liked it and learned something. Drop a comment down below if you did. Make sure to keep living adventure style. Get outdoors. Love life. And I'll see you all in the next episode of E-Kriegs Outdoors. Peace out, y'all.